So as most of you guys know, yesterday, Jair Alexander signed a four-year extension with the Green Bay Packers, a four-year $84 million contract extension, making him now the highest paid cornerback in the NFL on a per-year basis at $21 million per year, ahead now of Denzel Ward as well as Jalen Ramsey, who are both making about $20 million. So with this new signing, I want to go over the salary cap implications for Jair Alexander and basically what his cap hit is now and then also what the Packers total cap space is right now at this moment. So before this contract for Jair Alexander, he was on the fifth year option, which was about $13.3 million and all that counted against the salary cap. So now when we look at his contract, his cap hit has moved from $13.3 million to around $7 million, $7,076,000 to be exact. So moving from 13.3 to around seven, that means the Packers have saved about $6.2 million against the cap by signing Jair Alexander. So not only does he get to stay in Green Bay for years and years to come, but this also helps the Packers a lot in this season. And now if we look at the Packers total salary cap space, we now have $17,028,188 to be exact. So the Packers have a good amount of salary cap space now adding another $6 million with this Jair contract, which just gives the Packers, you know, more room to do what they want to do. If they want to come in at a receiver, there's still some out there. You know, there's debate as if they should, if they shouldn't. I think either way could make sense. Odell's still out there. Will Fuller, a few other guys um, who could make sense. And the Packers, I think, definitely have the ability to now with this Jair contract, you know, getting done. Because I think before they still had the ability to, but now there's no question they could do that kind of thing if they want to. We saw Jarvis Landry, you know, get a $6 million deal for one year. So let's say Odell wants to come into Green Bay. You know, he's going to take some time to finish up healing from that injury. If he can come in November, December, the Packers give him, you know, a similar contract to Jarvis Landry. If Odell plays amazing, he'll hit the market again and get a huge contract. So it could make sense for Odell to come to Green Bay. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, to be completely honest. Hopefully he can get completely back healthy if that were to be the case. So the Packers have lots of options, whether they want to add on defense or offense. If we do look at Jair's cap hit, next year it does jump all the way to $20 million. So around $7 million this year, $20 million next year. But I do think the Packers have set up their team very, very nicely. From Aaron Rodgers' contract, his salary cap was, you know, favorable um, after getting the deal done for this year. Same with Jair Alexander now. So the Packers have some room to make some more moves. So we will see, and I will keep you guys updated as always, if the Packers decide to sign any more players, you know, in the rest of this offseason. But that's all for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you want to see more content like this, Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.